One of the most common arguments amongst those who are cessationists or those who do not believe that the gifts of the Spirit are for today is they will say in rebuttal to an individual who is a charismatic or those who believe that the gifts of the Spirit are for today, they will say something along the lines of, if you really have the power to be able to heal people, if you really have the power to be able to deliver people, then why not go into all the hospitals and heal everybody in the hospital immediately or go and raise all of the people that are in the graves from the dead right now. Go and empty out those hospitals. It's almost a challenge. If you really have the power to be able to heal people, why not? Why are you not able to just go undiscriminately, go heal anybody that you want whenever you want? But what's very scary to me is the fact that this is almost the exact same argument that the people in Jesus' hometown used against him when he said one of the prophecies in Isaiah was fulfilled in their ears that day. This passage is found in Luke chapter 4. I'm going to start in verse 21. It says, and he began to say to them, Today the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? And he said unto them, You will surely say this proverb to me, Physician, heal yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. Then he said, Assuredly I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. So Jesus gives the understanding of this common proverb that was going around amongst the Jews in that day where it says physician heal yourself what it means by that you know the people are logistically thinking to themselves hey if you can do all of those miracles in Capernaum why not do them here show us right here that you really have the power to be able to do those miracles here as well too so it's almost the exact same argument amongst the cessationists that say hey if you could deliver that person if you healed that person really in truth there then why can't you do that same miracle wherever I want you to do them Jesus went on to say but I I tell you truly, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout the land. But to none of them was Elijah sent except to Zarephath in the region of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha, the prophet, but to none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. So Jesus gives this example with Elisha that he was only sent to heal Naaman the Syrian. There could have been many people that were healed but God was only leading Elisha to heal Naaman the Syrian. So I believe Jesus is appealing to the fact that the Father has a sovereign plan in, in which timing people will be healed and certain people will be healed. And Jesus is logistically saying, yeah, I was sent to heal those people, but not necessarily so much with you. But just because Jesus was not sent to heal many people in his hometown, does that make it as though the power of God is of none effect or that his healings, his miracles, the deliverance that he did was not valid? No, it most certainly does not. Obviously, the healings and the deliverance that Jesus did were still valid, even though he didn't do healings in that certain region. Here's how another version says, verse 23 of Luke chapter 4, then he said, you will undoubtedly quote to me this proverb, physician, heal yourself, meaning do miracles here in your hometown like you did in Capernaum. So is that not the exact same argument that we hear the cessationists saying today? Oh, Oh, hey, if you really have a testimony that you healed or delivered that guy, then show me right here. I'm going to put these stipulations and you have to do this miracle this way in order to prove that you really are operating in a miracle power. But just because healing and deliverance really can be done doesn't mean that it can be done undiscriminately at any time to any kind of person, especially if those people have unbelief. It says that Jesus did not do many mighty miracles in his hometown except heal a few sick folk. So if the cessationist argument really was genuine and really was true, then why is Jesus appealing to the fact that Elisha was only sent to heal Naaman? Couldn't, uh, didn't Elijah have the power, have the ability to heal all kinds of different people? Well, he was only sent to heal Naaman the Syrian. So I do believe in the gifts of the spirit and that healing and deliverance and prophecy and so on is for today. But I also acknowledge the sovereignty of God, that God has a sovereign plan and he will lead you to pray healing and deliverance for specific people at a certain time. Just because the gifts of the Spirit really are for today doesn't mean, therefore, we can just 
undiscriminately use the power of God in any way that we want to. Hey, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can see future videos uh, about deliverance and other Christian related topics. And I'm also going to have some videos here on the end screen that I believe would be interesting to you guys as well too. So make sure to check those out after you've subscribed to the channel. So be blessed guys in the name of Jesus Christ and I will see you in the next video. Amen.